So now we're going to go on to the calf muscles. Mickey, besides your hamstrings, I think this is probably your favorite. Oh, yeah. Okay, why don't you go face down here? All right, so we're going to get on the gastrocnemius and soleus. Okay. <laughs> that already hurts. <laughs> that already hurts? Okay, I'm barely touching it here, so this may not be a good sign. Okay, so first we're going to do this in a fairly linear way. So if we're talking about the gastrocnemius, we're talking about the origin being the medial and lateral condyles of the femur. Insertion on the posterior surface of the calcaneus, the, the Achilles. So we're talking all the way down here. So we got to kind of work our way around. Action flexes the knee. Plantar flexes the foot. Innervation is the tibial nerve, which would be S1, S2. Right, and if we're talking about the soleus, so Mickey, I'm starting to put a little bit of circumduction in here now. Uh -huh. Starting to feel that a bit more? Yes. Okay. Well, actually, your calves are feeling pretty good compared to normal. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> Maybe <it's, laughs> you're not quite perceiving it the same way. <laughs> okay, so we're talking soleus. Origin is posterior surface of the tibia and fibula. Insertion, posterior surface of the calcaneus via the Achilles tendon. So if we're talking gastrocnemius and soleus both coming together to basically form the Achilles tendon here. So incredibly important in terms of not only releasing but strengthening if we have a problem with Achilles tendinosis. Now again, the action is the same, plantar flexes the foot, and we're also talking innervation of the tibial nerve, so you know, S1, S2. You okay? Mm -hmm. So Mickey, when I go like this and I take it down, you feel that? Yes. Okay. Now, what I need to know is I need to know what the difference is between adding circumduction, I'm backing off a little bit, as compared to just me going from a linear fashion. Yeah, it feels like you're going through the gastrocs and actually getting to where, I know it's hard to get to the soleus muscle too for a lot of practitioners and yeah. even deeper, mm -hmm. but I can feel it referring much deeper into my knee okay. as well, which is unique. Because I don't normally feel anything, so I can almost feel it's like a referral pattern. Right, right. And it's spreading a lot further, and it's yeah. That's... So let me just okay, that's really tender when I do that. But let me just go straight in from here. How's that feel? That's better. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. But when you start, okay, to... when I start putting a little bit of circumduction in there, <laughs> and then I, I can actually feel the difference between the gastrocnemius and the soleus. Oh yeah. Okay, you can actually figure out where there's a restriction and release the restriction. If I did not do that, I would not be that effective at doing this. Okay, so incredibly effective technique for releasing the calf muscles. Excellent.